Hi, fourth and fifth graders. It's Mrs. Pazinski. And guess what? We are going to finish Power Forward. We have one chapter to go, and then we will be done with Power Forward. And then after that, I would love it if you would go to um, the website, to fourth or fifth grade resources, and vote on your favorite Great Stone Facebook. Now, there's a list of all the, or is something to click on where you can see a list. It's actually a PowerPoint of all the different Great Stone Face books that there are, because you may have read some and not even remembered that you had. I know I went over the list myself and I saw, oh yeah, I had read that that book. So, um, so when you're finished, now if you've read two Great Stone Face books and then I've read you Power Forward, then you will be able to vote. Okay. So without further, further ado, let's get to it and let's finish this book. All right. So we are on chapter 19. Chapter 19. I'm so full, but these noodles are so good, Zara says as she slurps chow mein off her plate. I turn the disc in the middle of the table and that we're all seated around so I can reach what's left of the noodles. There's so much food spinning in front of me, it's dizzying. There's fried rice and chicken and shrimp and hot and sour soup and more. We're at my grandparents' favorite Chinese restaurant, Good Fortune. It's also one of the only places Nano likes to go out to eat besides IHOP, which is the International House of Pancakes, if you don't know. Nano likes to go out, uh, excuse me, most of the other places we've taken her to, she's picked at her food and said that it has no taste. So we end up at good fortune a lot, which suits Zara and me just fine, even if mama complains about all the carbs and fat and sodium and sugar. Tonight, we're celebrating Nanu Abu's 73rd birthday. Earlier, I ran straight to mama after I got home from school, and she was sitting in front of her computer concentrating on something. Did it come? I asked. What, dear? The email from Coach Wheeler. Did I make the team? Hmm, let me check. I think it's right here. Oh, wait, can you hold on? I need to do something first. Mama, really? I felt like I was going to explode. It'll only take a second. I just need to stand up so I can give you a big hug for making the team. I made it? For real? For real. I let out a big whoop and Mama wrapped her arms around me and squeezed me tight. And then Zara heard us and came running in and soon we were all jumping and hugging like they do on TV sometimes. It felt great. And now at the restaurant with my family around me, Jabal Mamu tells me, tells us some more news. I've been talking to Nadia for the past couple of weeks and she's cool. Oh my gosh, does that mean you're, get, you're getting engaged? Zara asks. Not yet, but who knows? Right now, I'm just getting to know a nice girl from a good family. And he winks and looks at Nato when he says the last part. She is a nice girl, she agrees, and she has a good family. The waiter comes out with a little scoop of coconut ice cream and a lit candle in it, and we sing happy birthday to Nana Abu. And then Jamal Mamu sings it again in a goofy mix of English and Urdu. Nanu Abu beams at us and lets, us, let, uh, lets me blow out the candle. Thank you, he says as everyone hands him gift bags filled with a new robe and slippers and a book about Islamic art. Zara and I printed out a card with him for him with photographs of us together, which he seems to like the best. And here's one for you, Jamal Mamu says, putting a gift bag on my lap. I'm proud of you for making the team, Skeletor, he adds. And I'm sure you'll make the weight with all that food that you just put away. Did you really eat all those noodles? Impressive, man. I peek inside the back and spot the logo on the box. It's a pair of Air Jordans. They are the, exactly the ones I wanted. Black and red and perfect. I can't wait to wear them on the court and hear them squeaking. My heart beats faster as I think about showing up for the first practice for my new team. Thank you, Mamu, I said. Really, thanks so much. You earned them. 
Now I need to see some serious balling from you. We break into the fortune cookies next. Happiness comes from listening to your father. Baba pretends to read before he's even done pulling out the little paper. We all moan. Oh, very funny, Baba, Zara says. You have an unusually magnetic personality, Nano grins as she reads hers. Bakwas. Maybe it's good Bakwas. We all laugh and agree that her fortune is legit. Your smile brings happiness to everyone you meet, Nano Abu smiles. Is that so? Definitely. Zara crunches her cookie. Mine says, next full moon brings you an enchanted evening. I wonder what that will be. Nothing at all, if I have anything to say about it. Baba gives Zara an exaggerated warning look. I'll trade yours for, it's better to be the hammer than the nail, Jamamamu offers. What does that mean? No thanks, Zara says, I'm keeping mine. Let's hear yours, Zaid. Mama first, I say. You love Chinese food, Mama laughs. Okay, I confess, it's true. Sodium, carbs, and all. I love this stuff. And Zaid, Baba prompts, what does yours say? I swallow hard to try to clear the little lump that has formed in my throat. You must power forward to achieve your dreams. I read in as, in as deep a voice as I can. Right on, Jamal Mamu yells as everyone cheers for me. I take a little bow from my seat and I look around as a warm feeling spreads throughout my insides. I wouldn't trade these people for anything. Okay, maybe Zara. But only for a starting spot on the Wizards. And that is the end of Power Forward. Excellent. All right, so uh, go to it and go and vote. And we will talk to you soon.